the guy sitting across from me at the coffee shop that was like drawing, no, watercoloring profusely in front of me. He sat down, took out his watercolors, watercolored a blonde woman for two hours straight, made a point to get me to see it, and then left. I just woke up after a nap because I ate too much sugar. And today I bought this yarn from Michaels and I wanted to make a sort of utility belt out of it so I can store my camera, my phone, and all the little accessories that come with it. I mean, do you think I can make a balaclava with this? Oh, there's so many options here. Should I just make a balaclava? I'm cold. How do you make one? Every girl in New York City maybe has the bunny balaclava, but like, I kind of want it too. I'm just gonna make it, even though this is a much bigger project than I had initially anticipated. But I think this is maybe enough yarn and it definitely seems like it'll keep me warm. So um, we're gonna make it. No. So I finally have enough freedom to make something like a balaclava, which is actually a pretty decently ambitious project to take on. The good thing is that the yarn is quite thick, so getting it to a large scale actually won't take too, too much time. Oh, this is gonna be so warm. I'm actually very excited. And it goes well with red hair. I'm gonna do the half double crochets so we get that ribbed effect. Half double crochet. Ah, okay. Something I love about crocheting is, well, it's just very relaxing and great on the eyes. I actually started crocheting in the eighth grade and I was kind of addicted to it to a point where I wasn't doing anything else. My parents were like, these are the traits of an 80 year old woman. But they're also happy about it because it's very, um, it, it shows, you know, early signs of housewife material. They love a good Chinese daughter who likes sewing, likes arts and crafts, stuff like that. I liked playing that role, but that wasn't really why I got into crochet. What I think is fascinating about crochet and knitting is that you're creating your own fabric. There's no cutting needed and there's no sewing needed if you do it right too. And so everything's just kind of one unit and you can essentially like sculpt with thread, which is super cool. And so I've done some, some types of like more freeform crochets and those are extremely fun and you can't really replicate that with any other medium. Like making it with fabric would be far too intricate. With knitting, just I think would take too much time. This is gonna be a hefty balaclava. What the hell? Why am I struggling with the fucking apple sticker? This is sort of turning into a heavy duty balaclava. It's actually a very thick material. This should fit around my head. Yeah. Even just wearing it like this is very nice and cozy and warm. I'm gonna start off by adding a border around the top here, and then we can build it up into a proper balaclava. I said no more goodbyes if troubles back comes me I swear I'm gonna refuse, I'm gonna settle now And that we know I'm on lose Every day while I am far away My thoughts turn homeward forever home 
So I feel like I did a good job. It's cute, but there are a few adjustments that I want to make. First of all, I'm not sure how I feel about this chin protrusion here. I'm thinking of maybe adding kind of like a rim around the top, but not at the bottom because there's already this thing here. Second thing was I was considering putting bunny ears on this, but um, I might keep it simple. I'm also kind of out of yarn. The third thing is I would like to extend the neck so that I could wear it like this for when it's really cold. You've heard of Elf on the Shelf. Now, what's the fuck? You've heard of... Now get ready for... Oh wait, I need the mic. You've heard of Elf on the Shelf. Now get ready for... Santa hat on the balak... Uh, yeah, I can't come up with anything, but... You've heard of Elf on the Shelf. In all realness, this is the end result. It's not a perfect balaclava, but honestly, I don't think anyone really cares. So I can wear it like this, or... And then now I'm kind of stealthy, because you can't see my mouth anymore. And if I wear sunglasses, then you don't, you just can't see me at all. And then if it's, you know, too hot, I can just... Take it off. I can wear it like this with it off, or down like this.